Yo, what up, man? First and foremost, this video is sponsored by LG. We're gonna talk about LG a little bit later in the video. So today I'm gonna take y'all through my office tour. I'm gonna show y'all the random gear that I got in here. I'll talk about the color scheme that I chose. And I'm gonna also show you guys some of the YouTube angles that I choose to film my videos at and why. So let's just get straight into it, man, come in. So uh, let's just start right here. This is the Aperture 120D Mark II. Now this is the light that I use for all of my YouTube content, man. Cool light, it's affordable. Color accuracy on it is really nice. Uh, and with the Light Dome Mark II pair with it, the softness of the light is amazing. Now right now I gotta shine straight up at the ceiling just to give the room a little bit more ambience because on regular it's too dark in here. So that's that. Now let's get to this little area right here. So this is my schedule planning area. <laughs> The scheduling is very important. Some people just kind of willy nilly it all day, which ain't really the play. You gotta know where you're going, you gotta know what you're doing, and you gotta, uh, you know, give yourself a time restraint when you film it. Because if not, you're gonna be at the editing bay all day, and we don't want that. So, uh, this is my scheduler. I got this random board from Wayfair. I'll make sure to link everything that I'm talking about in this video down in the description as well. I got this from Wayfair. I like it because it's big. I got a lot of surface area to write down whatever I need to do. Every day when I come into office, I just write down. Uh, three simple tasks, you know, three big tasks to get uh, the majority of things that I need done and I'll never go beyond that. Always keep family on there too. Got to have the family. Uh, Stry race is cool. I enjoy it. Um, make sure you guys get you one of these because you need one. So uh, beyond that, we got this little area right here, which is just randomness. It was originally going to be my, uh, my charging bay, but I don't have any more ports right here, so I gotta figure that out. <laughs> Anyways, I got a diffuser. Just got this for Father's Day. Shout out to Millie, appreciate you. Um, and these are just a few cabinet setups from Ikea. Bunch of randomness in here. Got random t-shirts from companies, uh, lens caps, wires. This is just like the spot where I throw all my random stuff at. Got a couple mounts down there, some frames. Stuff that I need to use. And then in here, this is where I hide away a little bit more of my junk that I got in there. Got my passport. Random photos from video shoots, cool stuff. And it's gray. You didn't notice, everything in here is gray, black, and white. I got that color scheme because I want y'all to focus on my skin tone. So every other color in here is neutral. Every single thing down to the desk, down to the furniture, down to the carpet, everything is gray, black, or white because I want my skin tone to shine. And you see it in my color grades. Hopefully my skin's popping right now, I can't. I don't know because I ain't do it yet, but that's the reason why. So. All right, let's get into the editing bay. So this is where the magic happens, man. This chair is from Ikea. It's expensive, I've had it for a couple years now, but uh, it's pretty comfortable. I enjoy it. It goes up and down like regular chairs do, but uh, you can also you know, lean back if you want to. Say I'm at the desk, I'm just chilling. I wanna watch a movie, I wanna watch a YouTube video. This is how I do it. So uh, like I said, it's pretty pricey, but you're gonna be sitting in something all day and it's gonna affect your posture. You wanna spend the money on that. You know what I mean? So uh, the desk right here is from Ikea as well. It's a standing desk. You're sitting all day, you need to get up, you need to stretch your legs. You just hit this little thing over here and it brings the desk up. Got me a nice little pad down here to keep my feet comfortable on the hardwood floor. And then I just edit, you know? Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, try to stand up at least an hour to keep my legs nice and refreshed. Um, and that's pretty much that, man. The computer is iMac 27 inch. This is, I think the 2017 model is fully maxed out. I haven't upgraded because it does the job just fine. If you're thinking about getting an iMac though, I'm gonna link the newer one because I think it's just a better buy. So iMac 27 inch, bunch of other random things, docs. I got an Apple Watch. I got this Satechi uh, headphone stand that is also a USB dock, which is really cool. And then over here is just random memory. So then we got the mouse, MX Master 3. I don't love this mouse yet. I want to love it. It's just a little bit laggy on my Mac, which I kind of hate. Then I got the Logitech uh, keyboard, which is cool. I like the extra number pad. The keys feel really nice. Then we got the Loop Deck CT. Use this all the time for my editing. I know a lot of people think it's gimmicky, but I actually do use this. It's a dope little system, so. That's the desk, man. This is where it happens. Um, I sit here way too often, but I enjoy it. I think it's a comfortable, nice setup. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, other than that, man, we got random 
Ikea lamp. <laughs> Got Ikea uh, curtains. The majority of the furniture in here is from Ikea because it's just an easy place to go, you know? It's not that expensive and it's like a one-stop shop. So we got the gray, got the white, we got the black. You see the color scheme still going. All right, so we got a little bit of artwork right here. Uh, this is my homie Grace, animated by my homie Jay. Grace passed away, so uh, rest in peace to my homie Grace, man. I miss you, it's a real fresh dude. Then we got Tyler right here for Igor. Love the album, love the music, love the art, love the colors. And then we got really cool picture of downtown Atlanta by C. Ryan on drum. Appreciate you for that. <laughs> and then we got chill area. So couch by Ikea, color scheme, again, gray, black, white, simple, neutral, because we want my skin tone to pop. And we got a nice little carpet, gray, black, and white, again, same color scheme. And then we got this, this is where I sit for like my YouTube videos. So I got a couple different angles where I do my YouTube videos at. One is like right here. You see this one from time to time, like with the, Curtains in the background and the artwork. Do this angle from time to time. It's wide open, and then it creates a little bit of symmetry with uh, like the the curtains when they're closed. Probably not not right now, but this one angle that I do, and then another angle that you primarily see uh, my YouTube videos being shot at is like right here with this set. Greenery in the back. Then we got the shelf with. Uh, all my random stuff, which I'll get to in a second, but those are the two angles. Now that angle I do for symmetry, this one I do more so because I think it just looks clean. I'm kind of starting to hate it because I don't know, I'll eventually tear it down, but it's just something I thought was cool. I thought the wallpaper looked dope. I'll talk about that in a second. Let's just get into it. All right, so this is the Aperture LS1C light panel. I use this to get like uh, rim light, uh, hair light when I'm sitting right here at this set. Really cool light, really cool panel. Love Aperture, make really dope stuff. And then this is uh, the shelf. Cool shelf, memorabilia on it. Uh, I got Millie and I right here, helicopter. We went to Vegas, really fun experience. We got a W co disposable camera that I actually should probably use. Um, I actually need to use that. I don't need to take that out and go take some photos. Uh, random greenery clock that doesn't actually work that just looks cool then we got the youtube plaque hundred thousand subscribers appreciate y'all for that um and then we got random books austin cleon still like an artist really like that book we got a Khaled book right here got it for a flight never actually read it but i like Khaled. <laughs> i like Khaled. we got the master shot series down here we got gary v crushing it for nightmare memorabilia and then we got squirtle pokemon love that um so this is the shelf that you see in a set. This is the actual set. Wallpaper is from a company named Pixar. I'll make sure to link them down in the description. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a wallpaper, get a texture, don't get a pattern because it's super hard to put together. I can't tell on camera, but like all of these lines are crooked and off. So if you, want to think, if you think about getting this, make sure you get a texture. So yeah, microphone I use for the majority of my YouTube videos. Rode NTG4 Plus, and then we got the EOS R right here, camera that I film majority of my YouTube videos on. Just chilling. Um, yeah, backpack, Peter McKinnon. Shout out to you, appreciate you for sending me that, even though you didn't really send me that. I don't even think you know who I am, but <laughs> shout out to your manager. Uh, and, and then we get to the big piece of the pie. Shout out to LG for sponsoring today's video. Uh, this TV right here, is the central spot of the entire office for media for reviewing for playing games this is it this is the lg c10 oled 65 inch tv amazing alpha 9 processor for processing 4k video oled true black tones the profile of it is thin this tv is literally thinner than my iphone crazy literally the wildest tv i've ever seen when we took this out of the box i was kind of scared i was like yo this this is too thin this can't be safe but uh this thin profile makes this tv crazy viewing angles on it are amazing like i said true blacks this is literally the best tv i've ever seen i've ever used now the tv looks cool but what's what's the catch what's what's good about it us as filmmakers we need accuracy. How many of you have gotten a TV, you take it out the box, you set it up, 
you go to watch your favorite movie and it looks awful. It looks awful because they put motion smoothness, they put, uh, they put frame blending, they change the frame rates, and we don't want that. We spend a ton of time trying to get our stuff perfect. Our angles, our frame rates, our colors, all of that. This TV right here has a filmmaker mode. In filmmaker mode, frame rates are exactly how you shot them. Colors are represented accurately and brightness and luminous values are also represented accurately. So whenever I upload a YouTube video, I like to come here, check it out, make sure the colors look good on the TV setting. And uh, it's just dope. Amazing for viewing movies, YouTube videos, and also gaming. I got a Nintendo Switch right here. I play from time to time. I like to play Pokemon, Zelda. Um, it's dope, man. I enjoy the TV. I think the TV is fire, man. Beautiful. Uh, make sure to link it down in the description. I want y'all guys to check this out, man, because this TV will literally change your life. <laughs> it literally will. It'll change your entire perspective on TVs. I used to think that all TVs were the same until I saw this one and I actually used it. But that's it, man. That's the end of the office tour. I'll make sure to link everything that I talked about in this office tour down in the description. If y'all want any of this stuff, go check it out, man. Go check it out. Make sure you go check it out. But uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Y'all ain't got to leave. But y'all gotta get up out of here. Deuces. Peace. Outs.